morning everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be my february tbr it is currently february 11th when i'm filming this but i still want to get this video uploaded for you guys i just want to apologize i feel like this semester i posted a lot last semester but this semester is just a different vibe and um i'm in grad classes i've mentioned this before so if you guys are seeing less uploads i apologize for that but school is a priority, so I think I might go back to one video a week um, and then add a second upload if I ever need to. But anyways, that is beyond like the point of this video. I have a lot of books for my uh, February TBR. Probably not gonna read all of them, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys about them. Some of them I have read already since we're like a week and a half into February, but I'm gonna still include them. So I kind of have them split up. I have school books and then I have like personal reads. So we're going to start with the two books that have been on my TBR for the longest. I've had these since January, so I really need to finish these. The first one being Jesus Over Everything by Lisa Whittle. I feel like I'm going to finish this. I I just need to sit down and actually read it and then I think it'll be fine. So encourage me to read this. Um, this is just kind of how to put Jesus in front of our life, not have other distractions. And from what I've read so far, I've only read like a third of it. It's really good and I just need to sit down and read it. Not one that I personally really want to read. This is Den of Vipers. I'm almost halfway through this. I am reading this for a video and I just, I need to go ahead and finish it because what is this? I don't really know. Um, if you know, you know. I just want to get it over with for the sake of the video that I'm currently filming and be done with it. This book is also on the TBR. I have to read it for the video. And that is Cleopatra and Frankenstein by Coco Mellers. Um, yeah, I have no idea. I feel like I will actually really enjoy this book. It's just a matter if I'll actually pick it up. So again, if you've read this, please please encourage me because I feel like it would be a really good book. I just need to actually read it. Now we're going to do my school books. So the first one is Virginia Woolf's Mrs. Dalloway. I actually have already read this. Spoiler alert. It's a five star read. Um, won't talk too much about it. Wolf is one of my favorites. This is from my English 390 class, which is called Literature in London. And so it's super good. It's set in London. Obviously, Virginia Woolf is a London native or an England na native, I should say. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed this. Um, not going to talk too much about how I felt about it, but this is on my TBR or was on my TBR for February. I have Gothic. This is for my Gothic class, English 565. I've almost finished it. I just need to go ahead and finish it up. Um, but yeah, this is kind of like our course textbook, um, in a way, in a certain way it is, but yeah, um, not going to talk much about this. I just need to read it. It's a book I'm currently reading for my English 390 class, and this is one of my favorite films, Atonement. And this book, I, I want to say this is going to be one of my top books of 2023. It's just incredible, and I'm so excited to discuss it. I'm actually going to finish this probably today or tomorrow. Um, but yeah, it is incredible. 100% would recommend so far, but yes, gonna read this. Last school books that I'm aware of that I'll be reading is the first one is Small Island by Andrea Levy. Have no idea what this is about. Um, and there's no description for some reason. Usually paperbacks have a description, but this one doesn't. I don't know, but it looks like it's been, um, it looks like it's been turned into a TV show, I think. I don't think this is a movie. It looks like a TV show. And it's actually funny because Benedict Cumberbatch is in this TV show and he's also in the movie version of Atonement. So that's just, it's just funny. But anyways, I'm super excited for this. I think it'll be pretty good. And then the last school book that I'm aware of is Life After Life by Kate Attic Attickson. Again, I have no idea what this is about, but it's set in London it, or set in England it should be because that's what the class is based off of. But yeah, I'm super excited about this. Um, if you want to hear me talk about it more, obviously watch my February wrap up at the end of the month. But yeah, super excited about this. Talk about my physical like little fun books. So the, it's funny because I've actually read all of these. So the first one is Final Offer. This came out January 31st. Read the first two books last month. Super, super good. So I was super excited for this. If you want to hear my thoughts, just wait until the wrap up. And then I actually picked these up at Barnes & Noble randomly um, towards the end of January and I read them. Guys, I, I want to talk about these so bad. I'm not going to. But if you look at my Goodreads, you can see how I feel about these. You can go ahead and do it. But 
All I'm gonna say is if these are on your TBR, you guys should just read them. Just do it. Just for fun, do it. Last physical book I have on my TBR is The Notebook. This is my friend Matthias's favorite book. I am planning on reading it and annotating it for his birthday. Although his birthday is like in a couple days, in two days? Yeah, it's in two days. So I don't know if that'll happen before his birthday, but that is my plan to finish this and read it. We all know what The Notebook is, um, but yeah. There we have that. This book on my TBR is, I think it's it's one of the Ice Planet Barbarian books. I know, I know. I can't remember what the title is. I think it's Barbarian's Mate. I don't know, that could be wrong, but it comes out February 28th, so I probably won't read it in February. Probably end up reading it in March, but I'm gonna go ahead and include it here. But yeah, that is my entire February TBR. It's a lot of books now that I'm looking at it, but about half of them I've already read slash started, so maybe, maybe they'll be fine. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys are reading in the month of February. Is there any like must read romances that I need since it's Valentine's Day, you know? Um, but yeah, that is going to be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Peace and love. Bye guys. There we go. There we go.